If you want to create a graticule, like a global grid of latitude and longitude in QGIS, here's how you can do it easily. To begin, just for reference, I will go down to the coordinate box at the bottom. I'll select everything in there, delete it and type world and hit enter and that will get me a world map just so we can see what we're looking at. Now to create the global latitude longitude grid known as a graticule, I'll go to vector, research tools and create grid. From here, it's very simple. We could do different types of grid, but I am gonna do a rectangle. So you can choose other types. Line and point may also be useful for graticules. And then the grid extent, if I just hit this button, it will give me the extent of the layer on screen. If I click the drop down, I can choose to do it different ways. So if I chose from the layer, like I already have on screen, that will work. But what I really want to do here is I want to make the grid go from minus 180, so 180 degrees west to 180 degrees east, minus 90, so 90 degrees south to 90 degrees north. The spacing on my grid, I don't want one degree. I'm going to have a 10 degree grid both vertical and horizontal. You may see a warning. That's just warning you that it's in degrees and not something like meters. So the projection for this project is this WGS84, and that is a coordinate reference system in degrees. That's fine. If I wanted to save this graticule as say a geo package or a shapefile, I can click on the browse button and choose to save the file. I'm just demonstrating this for now, so I'm not going to save the file. I'm just going to hit run and then close. And let me drag my world map on top. And I will change the symbology of the graticule so it's transparent. And I'll drag it back on top. And there we have a graticule. I'll give you one more tip because if I change this projection by going down to the bottom right and hitting the EPSG button and I change it to something like World Robinson which I've used before so it's there but you can just search for it in the box World Robinson and click OK that gives me a projection which looks a bit funny it's a bit chunky because these lines are not smooth if you want to make your graticule smooth you can do one more thing and you can densify it, which will give you smoother lines. So I'll show you that. I'll click on the toolbox to open the processing toolbox. So that's a little cog icon. Type in densify. I'm gonna densify by count. So that's gonna add however many vertices to these lines that I want. I'll double click it. I'll do it to the grid layer. I'll add a thousand vertices to each line. That's gonna make it more curved. Again, I'm not going to save this to a new layer, but if you want to save it to a new layer, that's what you click. I'll click run and close. And I'll change the symbology on that one just so it's transparent. I'll click OK. And then if I turn the old one off, we should see that this is a nice, smooth graticule, whereas the other one was a little bit blocky. And then with this one, I can change the reference system to something else like Winkle Triple. And it's nice and curved. So that's how you can create a graticule in QGIS really easily. And also how you can densify it if it isn't as smooth as you'd like it to be.